Let's talk history. What is an RY4 eJuice? If you don't know what an RY4 is, it's a tobacco, vanilla, and caramel blend. It, it's an old school flavor, but it's still around. It's just not really mentioned much anymore, but it used to be really popular. It's not really a tobacco flavor. It just has a hint of tobacco to it. Uh, some variations are sweet and some aren't. Some have more vanilla than others and some have more caramel. RY4 is one of those blends that has always kind of reminded me of craft beer. There are many versions, all with their own subtle differences. And there are so many amazing tobacco blends out there today. And any DIY mixer will tell you that just a little tweak to a mix can change the entire taste. So you can choose from hundreds of different tobacco flavors to make an RY4 and vanilla flavors. You can use a higher or lower ratio of each flavor. You can use sweeteners and so on. And then in, in addition to that base, you can add a twist to it like blueberry, bourbon, or butterscotch or whatever else. And all three of those I, I've actually tried in RY4s and, and they're good and different. Um, my first intro to an RY4 was with an e-juice from Vintage E-Liquids called The Legend. It came in a Zippo style bottle and was just a simple RY4 and I loved it. I, I still have the bottle around so that I, I'll never forget about it. And there's actually an old interview on GuideToVaping.com that Blake, the owner of Guide to Vaping, did with a man named Ludo Timmermans, who's the creator of RY4 and founder of Janty, who has been making vapes since 2006. And Janty, by the way, claims to be the original creator of the Ego Vape Pen, and this was way back in 2009. Most people think that it was actually created by Joytech, but supposedly the original model was developed in partnership with someone named Alan who worked with Joytech. Anyway, back to RY4. So Ludo, while working with DeKang, who is another famous part of vaping history, developed the, the formula for RY4. He originally named it Ruyin NR4, Ruyin being inspired by the company who created the first commercial Siglike product. When Ludo got to the fourth formula, he felt like he found the perfect flavor that people would love. He eventually shortened the name to RY4, and the rest is history. You might have seen different variations of the RY series, anywhere from 1 to 10 out there, but versions 1 to 3 were never actually released, and Ludo didn't make anything beyond version 4. But what, what happened was that DeKang and other flavor manufacturers, they made their own, their own versions of the RY series, and they decided to make each number in the series more and more sweeter. That wasn't the original intention, but that's what they did. So RY4 or RY1 would have no sweetness at all, and RY10 would be very sweet. If you're an RY purist, the real one comes from DeKang. Although some people say that the original formula was lost and DeKang did their best to recreate it. And some people have also said that the original formula has gone through so many changes over the years that it just isn't like it used to be. I don't know if that's true or not, but either way, DeKang is probably the best chance that you have of trying the original. But in my opinion, it doesn't matter. Someone will always come along and make an old product better. RY4 has come a long way, and there is a variation of it out there for all of us. So yeah, I'll include some links to the interview from GuideToVaping.com, and also a video interview that Ludo did with in 2013 with rpad.tv. And both interviews are really interesting, and I definitely recommend watching those to learn a little bit about vaping history.